building partnerships between schools and local communities so that they, they run shared classes with students from different schools going to each other's schools to take classes, teachers between the schools working together uh, to run those classes and organise those connections, and to try and do that on a, on a semi-permanent basis, something that happens uh, all year round with the, uh, within schools' activities. Part of our thinking on this was um, uh, we started to think of schools not so much as uh, a system of autonomous units, but as a social network. And we started to think about how you could use, cr try to create positive interdependencies between the schools um, uh, to, in order to come up with new ways of addressing uh, educational possibilities. For years, the debate had been about the institutional barrier with separate schools put between young Catholics and Protestants. Should we leave those barriers in place because that helped to protect identity? Or should we remove the barriers altogether to create common schools? What we did with the shared education thinking was to leave those boundaries in place, but make them porous and create bridging process across them. Uh, it's in some senses what our goal was to see whether it would be possible to create these collaborative networks where Teachers in a school in the local community would see themselves as having some degree of responsibility for all of the young people in the area, not just the young people who happen to be in their, their school. Um, so that was the idea. We ran pilot programs to see whether we could uh, make do create these uh, collaborative, collaborative networks effectively. Um, uh, that threw up all sorts of interesting issues and challenges, but we worked with the teachers to try and overcome them. And that's how we drove the, the initiative forward.